Hey, episode 16. So there's a few small things that I want to talk about, but I guess they kind of add up. I guess one of the big things that I've felt for a number of weeks now is that my productivity seems to have taken a bit of a, a dip. I don't seem to be sitting at my desk doing stuff. Um, I'm still working very much with a coach and you know we go through homework, things that I need to produce. But I don't seem to be able to kick my own ass, if that makes sense, and, and try and deliver on certain things. So it seems that I'm unproductive. And it's starting to frustrate me. And I don't know if that's a good thing, that that's a point where then I'll start delivering on it. But what I'm finding is I'm distracting myself with Netflix or YouTube and can easily waste an hour or two there. And it makes me angry. I'm thinking about deleting YouTube completely from my iPad so I'm not distracted for hours on end. And, you know, so... It's a strange thing. I don't know if this is the calm before the storm. This will make me more focused. But, yeah, it's something that's starting to annoy me. I just don't feel that I'm putting the emphasis where I need to. Next thing is around reaching out to people. So I've started to build the idea of helping people in terms of companies, uh, understanding where their challenges are, uh, building their relationship with their their staff or their teams or individuals to make them you know, enjoy the work and make it a, a much more enjoyable place to, to be and to, to make sure that you're using and connecting with people in the right way and making sure that they can come to work and really bring themselves. So that's the idea. But in order to do that, it's just an idea. I need to actually reach out to companies. I need to start talking to them and understanding, okay, does that work for them? Is that a service that we'll actually pay for? And I'm still stuck there. Um, I know that LinkedIn is my friend and I need to start connecting. I think the fact that I'm posting one video every week is a good thing and it's a start, but I need to start getting out there, putting myself out there, moving out of my comfort zone and start having more conversations. Next. Is an activity that I've was basically given to me by my coach, and it's about writing. Now, I've struggled, I'd say, in the last 10 years in keeping journals. I think it's a great idea. It was always a bit unstructured. I felt a bit like a teenage girl when someone said the idea of journaling to me. And I, I just started to put things on paper, and it just... It seemed a bit odd. It didn't seem very, if I say, productive. Then I came across something called the um, Five Minute Journal. So I'm a big fan of Tim Ferriss. Um, his book, The Four Hour Work Week, literally changed my life. It really made me question so many of the rules that I thought existed that I needed to live my life by. And he talks about journaling. And so I did this five minute journaling for a while. And in there is uh, part of gratitude and I think that's a big part of uh, something that we should really think about being grateful for the things that we already have um, but one of the exercises the coach set me was to write for two hours unfiltered and I did this exercise and I, I think I've talked about it before but it's amazing actually what's in your brain um, and then when you put it down on a piece of paper it's quite scary to realize how your brain just darts around and does all of these different things. Um, but it also helps clear things. Writing down on a piece of paper is so powerful. And I think it's, for me, it's about finding that time in the day, not just to write nonsense and just, but to write down things that are important that will move me forward, maybe some accountability, definitely some gratitude, but do that on a consistent basis. One finding at the moment is that I'm waking up and I'm a bit of a I'm the subject to the day. What's going on? Okay, this and that. And definitely going to bed earlier is a big thing because you wake up a bit more refreshed. And I definitely see this now. If I go to bed later, I'm just 
I, it takes me a lot longer to kind of kick start. I don't know if that's an age thing. I'm not quite sure. Uh, hydration, like most people will talk about, is a big thing. I've not drunk some water the last couple of days. I see an impact in it. So there's all little things. And this, these are habits that I need to build. Just little things, but they do make a big difference. And it's, sometimes it's hard to see. And you go, oh, well, I'm going to watch something extra on Netflix tonight. But actually getting your ass off the sofa and getting into bed will make a big difference for the next day. So there's those things that I'm considering. So journaling is a big thing for me, and I think somehow I need to put those thoughts together without it being too cumbersome. I don't want to spend all this time every day and move and basically try and do the journaling and not do the important thing, you know, reaching out to clients and networking, etc. So more to think about, more to plan, more habits to build into my life and to see how I can move myself forward because ultimately this is all on me at the end of the day. So yeah, quite a reflective moment, but I know I need to get my ass into gear, need to replace bad habits with some good habits. Um, so if you have any suggestions, if you're listening, whatever's worked for you, um, we'll, we'll be very interested to hear. Okay, catch you next week. Bye.